So if you wish to use race replay um, on your boat while you're sailing, race replay doesn't currently actually have live uh, data streaming in. There is a feature to work around it though, which we call the uh, live log reload. Um, and by allowing race replay to access a log or a copy of a log that is getting created, you can then refresh data uh, and get the latest data on your boat and do whatever operation you wish, be it calibration or any kind of analysis. In order to do that, you must have a team race replay and on the startup page, click on the options and make sure you activate the enable live log reload. Once this is done, you run race replay. For purposes of this demo, I will uh, be simulating a log getting written. So here we are, we've got race replay. Uh, I'm going to position my boat at the very end of this track. Now, in order to activate this feature, you may need to go in the options, tools, options, in the other tab. And then down here, you can say automatically reload from, and then you'll need to browse to the log. So we'll click OK on this. And now I will run my simulation and pretend that I'm actually sailing on board and I've got some new data coming in. So I've got a batch file here, which is something you could implement on your boat, which will go and copy the real log getting written by your electronics and copy it locally. In this case, it's going to copy it over boatlog.log. You can see this is 320 kilobytes right now. I double click on update log and it is now 507. So there now is more data than there used to be in this log. So let me get a graph so that you can see the actual effects. And then from there, all we need to do is to go to the filed menu and select live reload log. It will then go and reread that log, find out there are 600 new data points to add, click OK. And the 600 points have now been added. You can see that in the graph. And we can move the boat around with that extra new data. You've got tax and jibes who have been detected. You might want to go and look at those in detail now. So it's as simple as that. Uh, as a side, so as I mentioned, one option would be to create a batch file, which you double click, which would go and copy your log from the electronics locally. Otherwise, you might create read write lock conflicts. Uh, another option would be to use one of the features in Onboard Assistant. So once you have the Onboard Assistant running, you can go to Tools, Auto File Backup. Then you will point it to which file would you like to copy over. So I want to copy over, uh, pretend this is a folder where my electronics is writing my log. I want to copy over this file, click open, and then the action is going to be copy, not move. Uh, where do I want to save it to? I would like to save it uh, in somewhere in autosave, for instance. And then you can add a suffix to it if you want it to, to timestamp it. This is not our case because we want to make sure we're, we keep re reusing the same file since it was specified earlier in race replay. Select none. And then the frequency, you can say, please do that every 10 seconds. And then the timer starts and every 10 seconds, it's going to copy that log over. Close this and you now have an automatic backup. And at any time, you can go here and go file live reload log and work on your analysis.